morning guys this is not a vlog but a video I wanted to record uh, to tell you guys about how we got the visa extension in Indonesia we were planning to stay in Indonesia for six weeks and so if you ever want to stay in Indonesia for longer than one month you need to extend your visa and it can be kind of a hassle so this is what we did um, we figured it was the easiest way we read a lot of horror stories online and yeah this is what we did it was quite easy so yeah, let's start the video. So before anything, you have to decide how long you want to stay in Indonesia. If you want to stay longer than one month, you have to say that when you arrive. So Because you can also get a free visa for one month, but those you can't extend. So you have to say at the arrival, like at the airport, you have to say like, okay, we want to stay for longer than one month. And then you have to pay 35 US dollars um, to get a special visa for that, visa on arrival. And that way you can extend your visa for longer, um, so one extra month after that. So that that's what we did in Jakarta, then we went to Java and Bali, and after two weeks we decided to check out where we can extend our visa. And we started reading all these horror stories about uh, extending in Ubud. We were at, in Ubud at that time, and there were stories about people having to wait two weeks, stay in Ubud for two weeks, waiting for their passports to come back. And we definitely didn't want to stay in Ubud for two weeks. So we started reading more and more about where we could best extend our visa. And one story we read about a guy who did it in Lombok, in Mataram. And he said it was quite easy over there, um, so we decided to go there. It's quite out of the way if you don't want to go to Lombok. It's yeah, boat ride and you have to stay there for one night or two nights. It's kind of a hassle, but it's still easier than doing it in Ubud and staying there for two weeks. So what we did was we went from Ubud to Mataram with the slow boat, which was the worst decision ever, but it's cheap and if you're on a budget, that's the best option you can get. It took us five hours on the boat and then by that time we couldn't go to the office anymore um, on the day we arrived because it closes at 4 p.m. So we had to stay one night in Mataram and then the next morning we decided to get up really early and be at the office at 8 a.m. so we could be the first ones to get our visa and like give our passports and stuff like that so that's what we did so the next day we went there 8 a.m. and we had to get a copy of our passport a copy of our return ticket from Indonesia to somewhere else and a copy of our visa on arrival that we got in Jakarta. So we could do that at the immigration office. It was just like a copy shop around the corner. Um, it saves you a lot of time if you do it beforehand and you just have all the papers ready. We also had to fill in a few forms and then we had to give off our passports there. And we could have gotten our passports back like three days later. We gave our passports at the immigration office on the 10th of October and we could pick them up on the 13th of October, but our plan was to go to Kili Trawanang to just relax and yeah, so we didn't have to stay in Mataram for three days. But we didn't want to go back after three days of Kili Trawanang and the lady at the desk said that we could just pick it up any date after the 13th. So that's what we did. This play out before I moved on and now you're bored. My new relationship is popping something you can't ignore. Dinner. I seen this play out before. I moved on and now you're bored. My new relationship popping and you just can't ignore. It. You can't stand the picture of my girl all up on me. You said, do you ever wonder what me and you couldn't be? And the truth. extended one month so if you pick it up earlier like a week before your actual visa on arrival expires then you'll have one you, you won't get two months of traveling you get like one month and three weeks because they extend it from the date you pick it up so we got it extended on the 20th of October that day 
day we had to go to the office at 8 a.m. We had to take a photo and get our fingerprints and then we had to go to the bank to send the money to the immigration office which was kind of weird but yeah that's how it goes you have to walk to a bank like at 9 a.m. and then uh, send the money to the immigration office and then you have to get back the same day at 3 p.m. to pick up your passport and stuff like that and then you have your passport back and you have one month of extension to travel in Indonesia so yeah that's what we did and that was kind of the easiest way you can probably do it you don't want to be stuck in Ubud or anyone else and just be stuck in one place and you can't go anywhere and we knew that that place where we could pick it up again and that we could pick it up later if we wanted to so that was really nice and yeah you can just go to Gili and party and chill at the beach or go to Lombok, visit Lombok. I hope you get any use out of this video if you want to travel to Indonesia for longer than a month. It might be useful. Okay, bye guys!